Behind the stately guard gate in the community of Osprey is the prestigious neighborhood of The Oaks. This section, The Oaks Bayside, a portion situated right on Little Sarasota Bay. It was the first gated community in Sarasota, and some of the original features of this neighborhood are still here today. So as you do wind your way through the roads in here, you're under these canopies of beautiful, large, old oak trees and um, some lovely little lakes. And then here in the, the bayside, you have a beautiful reflecting pond and great area to go sit in the evening and, and watch the sunset. And, and so the bayside really is a little more intimate and a little more wooded and private feeling, I think, than the other sections of the oaks. Large estate-sized homes mingle with the oak trees, providing a picturesque setting in the Oaks Bayside. And one of the most unique homes here is called Malvern Oaks, named after an area in England. There's really only five homes in, in the Oaks Bayside that are on boatable water, so this is one of the five, and I think exceptional because it does sit on a, a corner lot uh, abutted by Spanish Point on one side. So it gives incredible privacy. This carefully manicured Georgian styled home is gracious but elegant from the first glance. When you enter the property, you pass a European courtyard, so that same feel greets you at the front door and beyond. When you enter, there are marble floors, columns, ornate decor, and picturesque French doors that lead to the beautiful views beyond. It's all part of the formal living room where no detail has been overlooked. One of my favorite parts is the fireplace that is at the end of the the home that is a beautiful, what is called a um, bark marble. It's gray and white and it truly does have the look of tree bark. And this is just very rare. It's not something that you would see in, in most homes. Close by is the formal dining room, large enough to entertain more than a dozen guests. The hand-painted wallpaper and custom flooring give that grand feel. Just beyond the dining room, a butler's pantry and full catering kitchen with the finest appliances here as well. Also up the main entry of the home, the library. The library has beautiful built-ins and the knotty pine walls and, and cabinetry. And then again, those octagonal walnut floors. You just don't see that level of craftsmanship and, and those kinds of finishes that often in homes. It's very expensive and, and also very tedious to find the people that can do that kind of work. So that is one of the special things about Malvern Oaks is that it really has uh, just a wonderful European craftsmanship to it. The fine details are evident throughout this home. The master retreat is no exception. The master suite, as we say, it really is fit for royalty. It is large, it is impressive, it is beautiful. The colors they've used really give it a warm feeling, but you're immediately drawn to the large windows. And so what a, what a place to wake up in the morning and look out at the gorgeous view out there. If you happen to look up instead, there's a beautiful Murano glass chandelier that graces the room. So just a beautiful master suite. And the master bath offers the finest appointments luxury buyers expect and more. You just don't see a room this big usually for a bathroom. You truly have large his and her sides. The countertops are some of the thickest that I've ever seen, just beautiful marble and wonderful huge walk-in shower and great big closets for him and her. So the bathroom, I think many people could probably be happy to almost live in, <laughs> live in that room. Fine craftsmanship is evident even in the smallest rooms here, like a hallway powder room. It speaks to the attention the owners have paid to every space, no matter the size. The powder room in particular has a gorgeous Cheryl Wagner sink and fixtures. And you do read and see Cheryl Wagner mentioned when you're talking about the, the best of Hollywood or Palm Beach. But in Sarasota, you don't hear Cheryl Wagner fixtures mentioned all that often. The more casual space is in the family room, but you'll also find fine woodwork here. A room with soaring ceilings and warm oak wood tones with plenty of room for watching TV and playing games. And and conveniently located right next to the kitchen. The kitchen is fabulous. It really is. Even if you don't like to cook, you'll like to be in that kitchen and, and try and cook. It really is just high-end appliances. Um, of course, you've got Wolf um, cooktop. You've got two ASCO uh, dishwashers. You've got the Advantium oven and, and the 
coffee maker that's built in for you, all those extras that people enjoy, but beautiful cabinetry and, and wonderful storage, and it really is a, a kitchen that everyone that has seen it just enjoys enjoys that room. Also on the side of the home, the guest wing. We actually have two separate guest wings. One of them is a, a large suite, again with its own fireplace, and that would be for one set of your guests. And then you have a separate area where we have two additional guest suites. And so you really do have the ability to offer to people privacy and a chance to get away and, and um, just have kind of their own space while they're here visiting. So it really is terrific in that regard. There are also guest quarters downstairs in the home, along with a large game room and access to the five garages. Plenty of room to store your collection of automobiles. The motor court at the home can accommodate about 20 vehicles. All these details add up to create a property few can match. What you have with the gorgeous marble flooring and with walnut floors and, and pine, knotty pine walls in some of the rooms and very unusual ceilings and French doors and, and spider web transoms above the doors and all of these unique features and the beautiful fireplaces. When you put all of those components together, the, the sum of all those parts, it really adds up to just a great feeling home that is truly elegant and very unique. And just as outstanding as the interior of this home is the exterior. The current owners really, when they purchased the home, really expanded the home out west towards the water and put on literally a 60-foot deck out there, which, uh, again, this is what this home is all about. The views are spectacular. You're west-facing, so sunsets, you know, cocktail hour, coffee, um, you know, it's just wonderful. The water views from this home, truly one of a kind. You're looking out here over, over Casey Key, and, and what's really nice is the channel is quite a ways out, so you have great distant water views, but also you get to watch the boat traffic um, in the back. And many times we have, um, you know, kayakers or canoers that come in here, so it's very picturesque. Malvern Oak sits on two lots, so instead of the water views competing with views of the pool, the pool has its own space next to the home. A 50 by 50 clover shaped pool with a pool house, a perfect spot to entertain and impress your guests. Malvern Oaks in the Oaks Bayside has six bedrooms and six and a half baths. It has more than 10,000 square feet and is offered for $6.9 million. For more information, contact Carol Clark and Joel Schimmel at Signature Sotheby's International Realty.